Oh, hello guys. How is everybody doing today? I hope you have an amazing end of the week. So, many of you may have wondered can you and how you can play any of the Epic Store games and it's pretty easy nowadays with the evolution of Linux and gaming, especially gaming on Linux. So today in this video I'm gonna try and show you how you can do exactly that. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Okay, so the first <laughs> the first easy way you can get the Epic Store games on your Linux machine that I want to show you is of course if you have already installed Wootris Gaming. This is the another well another gaming client for Linux which is amazing. I strongly recommend it. But anyway you can find it here. It says Epic Game Store of course. All you need to do here is just click the connect button and it's gonna say this service requires a game launcher which is okay and the following steps will install it once the client is installed you can log into the epic game store just click ok and follow the steps that it wants you to do like for example click install select where you want to install the game launcher click continue and it's pretty straightforward but this is not the only but this is not the only one place you can find the epic game stores for those of you who does not have installed Wootris or never heard of it where you can find it and how to install it well the client you can find in wootris.net just go to the download page and look for the distribution that you are using it's almost on every single one of them or at least on every single major one of them if you are using the FlatHub and FlatPacks, just go to the FlatHub.org and search for Utris. It's already there. Just click and it's pretty easy to install. Now, the other way you can play uh, Epic Store games is, of course, the Heroic Game Launcher. This application, it's awesome it's amazing and especially pretty good for epic store games you can find it in the heroic games launcher.com you can go play and see what's so special about this application i'm not gonna go too deep into that i just want to show you how to download it how to install it and how to install some games of the epic game store of course it says download click the download button it gives you a few options again the first one is flat pack again go to the flathub.org and search for the heroic it's right over there and it's pretty easy one click install just click and install it the other option is app image or even you have the option to install it you have the option to install it from the github page they have all the available downloads if you are using the an rpm based distro you have the rpm if you are using the Ubuntu or Debian based you can just download the, the file similar to the Windows EXE file and install it this way that's okay too but today I want to try and install the oops oh come on 
So today I want to try and install the app image. I have not been using app images for a while now and I want to get back and try and see how the experience is now. Just click on the download, select where you want your app image to be installed and click select. It's pretty easy as you can see. App images, what is so special about the app images? Well, they don't need any installations. They are ready to go. You have everything you need in one file. No installation, no hustle, no anything. It's a pretty good idea, but I know some of you don't like it. But anyway, so you have downloaded the file. What you need to do is just right click and go to the properties. You need the permission tab. All you need to do is right here allow executing file as programs. Just check that and close. Now just double click and run it. And you have the Epic Game Stores available to you. Mine it's already locked in, but you should be prompted to log in if you have account in the Epic Stores. That's perfectly fine. Just log in with your account. If you don't, you can create one. This is just my library. You can now navigate. It's pretty similar to the to the Epic Store. I'm not gonna spend that much time here. I think it's pretty easy to navigate through the application. This is the easy part. I just want to see, for example, how easy and show you how easy it is to select a game and install it. Let's see what do they have here. Fortnite, they have a Rocket League. Valorant, Genshin Impact, I have already shown you how to install this game. Oh, Palia, that's interesting. Let's try that. Just click, oops, just click on the game that you have chosen to install. It's pretty easy. This one, it's even free. All you need to do is just click get. It's a little bit weird. It says <laughs> click here to agree to share your email. No, I do not place order. Agree. Although it's a free game, it goes through the purchasing <laughs> process, which is kind of weird. But anyway, now if we go to the library, oh, come on. It should be in the library already, but it's not. I don't know what's about that. Anyway, it's going to need some <laughs> restart I guess let's try and do that just reopen the game launcher and it's still not there that's weird so this is a pretty interesting game I was watching some videos about it I may well this is a good chance for me to try it and see what's all about but anyway, when you open the page of the game that you have already selected and you have installed, you have a trailer, a few pictures, some basic information. And what is all about this game? Even ratings. Wow, 4.5. It's not bad at all. You have the minimum requirements and all that. This is pretty good what else is here because it's a linux launcher for epic store you have of course an wine manager this is all the available wine and proton versions you have just need to 
Well, basically, I like to install the latest one. Just click here. It says the installation started. It may take a few seconds. It depends how big the file is, but you may need that. I do recommend to install the Proton version too. Again, I'm gonna install that one too. It, wait for the installation to finish. Now, if you have already select a game that you want to play and it's already in your library, for example, let's let's start let's start with Dauntless. Just click on it. Now, this is pretty interesting because of easy anti-cheat. This game, it says that this game includes anti-cheat software, which is pretty useful. I'll give you another example. It says that the status is running, which is amazing. So all you have to do is just click install and wait for the installation to finish before you are able to play. Now let's check the Fortnite. Now this game, <laughs> it says again that includes anti-cheat software, but the status here, pay attention, is denied. So this is pretty important. This is how you check if the game you want to play is playable at all on Linux because unfortunately not all of the games are playable on Linux. This is because mainly <laughs> the developer of the game they don't really want to enable the easy anti-cheat workaround for Linux. I'm not gonna go into that, but this is how you know if the game is playable at all. Worth your time to just wait for the installation and go through the hustle, but anyway. Another game that I want to show you is another favorite of mine. This is The Elder Scrolls Online. This is no anti-cheat software, so it's pretty good on Linux. Let's relaunch and see what's gonna happen this time. Alright, so the game is finally here. For some reason, I guess it's take, it takes a little bit longer to, <laughs> to be added to our library. I don't know why is that. But anyway, let's open the game. This game is not installed. Everything seems fine. Just let's, let's install it. I really want to try this game anyway, so... I'm gonna use this to try the game. Uh, okay, I'm gonna select a folder. Oops, not here. Right here on my games folder. I'm gonna create another folder heroic and I'm gonna choose that. Use the default one settings. Wine default. Okay, we have installed the Wine GE Proton and I'm gonna select that instead and just click install. The game start installing, I think. Oh wow. Okay. I believe it's gonna take a little bit. I'm not gonna waste your time with it. I'm gonna wait for the installation to finish. I'm gonna try the game and if anything specific it is to be mentioned, I will come back to you guys and say it. I'm not gonna take any more of your time guys. This is all I wanted to show you for today. If you have any thoughts or any recommendations for me, just leave them down on the comment section down below and I'll see what I can do. <laughs> so without further ado, I'll leave you now with the happy weekend that it's coming up. See you guys. Bye.